Hello YouTube. If you're looking for a compact flagship phone that doesn't compromise on features, then two of the best options right now are the Xiaomi 14 and the Galaxy S24. They both have pretty banging camera systems, but they don't make quite such a bulge in your pocket as something like the Vivo X100 Pro. I wanted to know how they compare in photo and video, so today we're gonna go test them side by side and see how they do. We're starting with video, so let's take a look. Okay, starting with the front facing camera of these two phones. Both are recording in 4K 30 frames per second, but they can shoot at 4K 60 if you prefer. The Samsung S24 has autofocus. And the Xiaomi 14 does not. So obviously if you get really close or really far away, you're going to be sharper on the S24. Here's how the selfie cameras look in the direct sunlight. And here's how they do with heavy backlighting. We're using the built-in microphones of each phone. It is pretty quiet here at the moment, but there is a bit of wind. When I tested the S24 Ultra, that did really well with wind suppression. So I'll be interested to see if the standard S24 does the same thing. Okay, now both phones are in their portrait video modes. So we've got an artificial background blur. So see which one looks better. How well it does with the cutout. Okay, this is now maximum blur strength on both phones. This is how it does with my hand. Okay, this is the main 1X lens on both phones. Just want to check out the autofocus performance. So if I come close to the camera and move further away, does it keep my face in focus? And if I leave frame and come back at a different spot, how does it handle that? video mode on both phones so we've got an artificial black background blur the uh, Samsung's at f2.8 again Xiaomi's on blur level 5 how does it look is it cutting out my hands well if I come closer how does it do if I leave the frame and come back what happens then So this is weird, but during testing, the uh, main camera of the Xiaomi has fogged up a bit. I've, uh, I don't know if you can really see, but there's like fog inside the lens. I've never seen that before. All right, both cameras are at 4K 30, and both are on the ultra wide. This is walking along at normal speed to check out the stabilization. And here's the little jog. Then we'll switch to 1X on the Samsung. I have to use a slider. <laughs> this is going to be a pain. Now 1X on the Xiaomi. Walking along at a normal speed. And with a bit of a jog. Finally, 3X on the Samsung. It's 3X on the Xiaomi. Walking along at a normal speed. And with a bit of a jog. We're now on the ultra wide rear camera, 4K30 on both. Switching to the main camera on the Samsung. Slowly zooming to the main camera on the Xiaomi. 
I hate that. I'd love those buttons to be on this one. You do. Now 3x on the Samsung. Okay, both phones are on the main camera. You know, look at how well the transition looks a macro shot like this. Do a fair focus. Something struggled there. Xiaomi struggled there. Oh my god, that wind. <laughs> now I do the same on the 3X lenses. That fogging up's happened even worse now. See that? It's pretty crazy. This is the 3X on the Samsung, 3.2X on the Xiaomi. Taking the Xiaomi out to the 1X, almost. Now to the ultra wide. Finally, let's go all the way to max zoom on this town in the distance. That's 3x. That's 3.2x. That's 15x, and that's 12x. That's 12 on both. That's 10 on both. And that's one times on both. Now this is both of the selfie cameras at night in 4K30. It's not the darkest area, you can see it's quite well lit. But it is nighttime, it's a lot darker than it was in the day. Let's see how they're doing with stabilization and how they're doing with exposing my face as the lighting changes. Let's keep walking a bit. This is the main lens of both phones at 4K30 in low light. All right, this is the ultra wide on both. Very dark here. Taking it out to the main lens. It's the 1X lens on both. Got a big flare on the Xiaomi. So I'll move over a bit. That's better. Let's take it to 3X. Just 3X on both. It looks brighter on the Xiaomi from what I can see. Now we're back to the 1X. Give it a quick stabilization test. This is walking along at a leisurely pace. 
here's a bit of a jog on. Now let's do the same with the 3X. This is at a normal pace. Samsung looked to be doing better initially, but the uh, Xiaomi catches up every now and then before going shaky again. Maybe it'll get better once it's been processed. And here's a bit of a jog. Alright, this is a test of how the rack focusing does in the dark. Starting with this plank close up and then moving to the distance and back again. Alright, now we're on this very dark street again. Same one as always. Not quite sure why I keep coming back here, but it is dark and that is what we're looking for. Um, got a street light coming up. So here's how it looks when you use the selfie cameras in 4K30 in extremely dark conditions. Obviously you can see me better under the street light, but now I may have disappeared again. And here's how it does with some backlighting. This is the ultra wide of both phones. As I walk along a bit. Doesn't look like you can see much. Samsung might be doing better here. Now this is the main lens on both phones. And here's what it's like when I walk along. Finally, the 3X telephoto on both. Xiaomi looks brighter, but it does look to be struggling with focus as well. All right, let's look at some photos. So we're starting with an ultra wide shot in the daylight on both. I will say there's a definite trend with these uh, phones where pretty much in every shot, the Samsung is slightly over sharpened. So it looks sharper when you zoom in on the details. But usually I don't think there's actually more detail in the shot, it's just been sharpened a bit more so it looks a bit more contrasty it has slightly harder edges i think that's the case with this shot um but yeah i'm gonna try not to repeat myself a million times um so yeah basically every time it's gonna be a bit sharper on the samsung but not necessarily more detailed in this case actually i would say there is some more detail in the samsung shot especially on this rock and with the grass here. It's not a huge amount, but everything's just a little bit softer and mushier on the Xiaomi, especially in this grass just here. If we zoom out, they're quite similar shots. The Samsung's a bit warmer, and maybe slightly contrastier, whereas Xiaomi's gone for a flatter look. Uh, I kind of prefer the warmth of the Samsung shot in this one, but there's not a huge amount in it. Now this one's on the main lens, and right off the bat, seeing kind of similar things. Samsung's a bit warmer, and it's brought out the green tones a bit more. 
whereas Xiaomi's gone for a bit of a flatter look. I would say the Xiaomi looks a little more natural in this case, but there's not a huge amount in it. If we zoom in to look at the finer details, I think, yeah, there's the same amount of information captured, roughly. But Samsung sharpened it up a bit. And which one you prefer is up to you. You can always add more sharpening after the fact if you feel it needs it. Now this is the three times telephoto on both. Seeing similar things with the colors. Bit warmer, bit greener on the Samsung. Bit flatter and more natural on the Xiaomi. And yet, yeah, same situation. Bit over sharpened on the Samsung. But a good level of detail on the Xiaomi. Now this is a 10x shot in daylight uh, with both phones. So quite a heavy digital zoom from the telephoto. We've got a pretty massive difference in color. Uh, Xiaomi's brought out the warmer tones. The sun was quite low in the sky, so it was a bit warm, but not not that warm. <laughs> and uh, Samsung's just really heavily leaned on the greens and it's a bit cooler looking. If we zoom in, Samsung sharpening has kind of mushed this text pretty badly. Whereas Xiaomi's not done as much sharpening, and um, yeah, ironically, the the text is easier to read on this one. Looks like we have a shallower depth of field on the um, Xiaomi shot, slightly, but that could just be less sharpening applied. And yeah, as you can see, with these radio towers, there's probably the same amount of data initially but Samsung sharpened it up and in this case kind of made it look worse I prefer the Xiaomi shot in this case oh if you're wondering what photos look like if you take them while the lens is fogged up on the Xiaomi it looks like this on the left obviously we can't really analyze these but uh yeah we'll talk more about the foggy lens situation in a bit Okay, these two are ultra-wide shots. We're seeing a similar thing as we saw before. Samsung's done a lot of sharpening, but actually on the ultra-wide, I think Samsung captures a bit more detail than the Xiaomi does. Yeah, Samsung's kind of exaggerated the colors a little bit. Like the sky wasn't actually that dark of a blue and the grass wasn't that bright. So Xiaomi's got the colors right, but Samsung's got more detail. Okay, now we've got a series of zoom shots from the hill. We are starting on the main lens, I believe. Xiaomi's gone a bit warmer on this one. Samsung's gone a bit colder. A bit darker. Very similar level of detail, but slightly more noise in the Samsung shot. I don't know if you can see in the distance here, that's quite grainy. It's a little bit cleaner and a little bit softer on the Xiaomi. So this, I believe, is 10x or 12x. Sorry, I can't remember, and I, there's no easy way to find out, but it's it's around, around 10, 12x zoom. So heavy, heavy digital zoom. Very big difference in the color renditions. Samsung is way darker in the shadowy areas and gone for much more of a blue tone, whereas what it actually looked like on the day, it was it was quite a nice sunny day. It looked more like how the Xiaomi looks. Let's zoom in a bit. Samsung's a touch sharper as always, but I wouldn't say there's more detail. Like, if you look at this telegraph pole thing here, it actually looks a bit worse on the Samsung because of the sharpening effect. I'd say the same for these trees here. There's probably the same amount of detail to start with, but the sharpening actually makes them look worse. And especially these houses, they're cleaner and easier to see on the Xiaomi shot compared to the Samsung. Now this is a super heavy zoom, I think 30x. And uh, yeah, again, Samsung's a lot darker and more sharp, but is there more detail? Let's zoom in and find out. Yeah, both of these are pretty horrible, to be honest. I, I wouldn't recommend zooming this far on these two phones. 
but overall, I would say the Samsung shot looks a little better. Now we've got two portrait shots on the main lens of both phones. Samsung's definitely gone a bit more aggressive with the blur effect, where it's a bit more subtle on the Xiaomi. They were set to their like mid level, so it was like f2.8 and blur level 5. Samsung definitely looks sharper on the the uh the guy's face. Yeah, the the warmth and the texture on the pole looks a bit better to me. The cutouts are good on both, but um Samsung went more aggro with the blur, so yeah, obviously had a harder time to to do a good cutout. Yeah, both similar shots, but the uh the Samsung's a little bit better for me on that one. So these two don't perfectly line up. I think Samsung is at 2x and Xiaomi is at 3x, both in portrait mode. But they're similar enough to have a decent comparison. I think Xiaomi's done a really good job here. The cutout looks pretty good. The uh, the blur effect is nice. And there's a good level of sharp detail in the in-focus areas. Whereas... Samsung could use a bit more contrast in this one. But they're not apples to apples, so take that as you will. Okay, now selfie cameras, not in portrait mode, standard photos. So, okay, this is a weird thing. The the Xiaomi uh, defaults to a higher resolution on the selfie camera, whereas, um, I mean, the Samsung selfie camera is only 12 megapixels, isn't it? So, yeah, I'll try and get these lined up as best I can. Also, one's mirrored. Sorry about that. But both very sharp. Samsung is slightly sharper, possibly thanks to the autofocus. But the Xiaomi looks very, very good as well. Yeah. Xiaomi's a little sharper on my shoulder and that's probably because because of the lack of autofocus the focal point is closer to my shoulder than my face but it has done a very good job of keeping that detail anyway it does look very good otherwise as a whole Samsung's brightened up my face a little bit Xiaomi hasn't there's not a lot in it but I would say the Xiaomi looks a bit more natural, whereas the Samsung might be a little more flattering. Now, same shot, but in portrait mode. Straight away, I can see that the Samsung blur is more realistic, whereas uh, Xiaomi's gone a bit overboard with the bokeh balls here. They, they start to look like... I mean, they're very circular. It's like Christmas baubles. Whereas you do get some of the bokeh balls in the Samsung shot, but they are reserved for areas where they actually would appear in a real photo like around these tree branches here in terms of the lighting i think xiaomi might have softened my face slightly yeah it's kind of xiaomi's lifted the shadows a little bit but not so much around my eyes around my eyes samsung's done it so yeah interesting differences in the processing in terms of actual detail quite similar really i would say samsung has the slight edge looking at my facial hair but the skin textures are good. Both pretty good. I would slightly prefer the Samsung in this case. All right, moving on to nighttime photography. We've got a macro close-up of a plant in the street at night. Xiaomi looks to be a bit brighter overall. Like you can see this planter is less dark, whereas the blacks are a little more crushed on the Samsung. Same, these, this wall is much lighter in the background, whereas the uh, Samsung's a darker shot overall. And this red sign. Hmm. So the center of the red sign has become whiter on the Samsung, whereas it's a bit more orangey on the Xiaomi. That's kind of a personal preference thing. Both look pretty good. And if we zoom in and look at the details, Samsung has, is more sharp overall, as usual. But also more of the plant is in focus because it's a smaller sensor, so the focal plane is wider, whereas the larger sensor of the Xiaomi means that leaves like this one are out of focus, whereas they're in focus over here, and there's less of a difference 
with the uh, Samsung shot over here. These are um, not in portrait mode. This is the natural bokeh of each one. Obviously with the larger sensor, the Xiaomi has a bit of a softer background, which looks very nice. Similar thing here to macro close-ups in the street at night. This time, Xiaomi's got the darker, more contrasty look, whereas Samsung's a little flatter. The reds are more blown out on the Xiaomi, but they do look red. It is a red sign. Whereas uh, on the Samsung, they've kind of gone pinkish because it's trying to trying to prevent clipping of the highlights. I think overall, I, the Xiaomi shot looks nicer to me here. Now an ultra wide at night, dynamic range looks a little better on the Samsung. The blacks are a lot more crushed on the Xiaomi, but it looks all right. The, uh, the yellow of this churro van is too dark on the Xiaomi shot. Whereas it's more accurate on the uh, Samsung shot here. We're seeing the opposite effect with the red neon sign. It looks a lot less red on the um, Xiaomi shot, whereas it still looks red on the Samsung, but it's maybe slightly blown out. However, the John Lewis sign, there's a lot more detail on the Samsung shot and it's completely blown out on the Xiaomi shot. I would say Samsung did a better job on this one. Same location, now on the main lens. Again, big differences in the uh, Pizza Punk sign here. Big differences in the John Lewis sign. Samsung's reined in the highlights a bit better. There's more clipping on the Xiaomi. Though now the yellow looks better on the Churro van. That's more accurate to what it looked like. So yeah, interesting differences. Now these are two 3x shots. We're seeing the same thing with the highlights. Samsung's reining them in a lot better. Samsung has better dynamic range in this shot. And uh, Xiaomi looks a little soft overall. I don't know if that's motion blur, but um, yeah, this, this sign as well. Samsung's handled that a lot better. Xiaomi's just not done a great job on this one. Okay, two nighttime selfies, not in portrait mode. Again, we're going to have to fiddle about with the settings to try and get a similar zoom level on both. It's never going to be perfect because they're very different resolutions. There are sharper details on the Samsung. Both are definitely a lot softer than they were in the day. Less detail in the skin. Bit of noise in the dark area on the uh, Xiaomi, where there's less. Samsung has uh, brightened my cheek up a bit more there. But overall, both are quite decent. Samsung has the slight edge. Now same again, but in portrait mode. And I'm already seeing the same thing that we saw in the day. That the um, bokeh ball effect looks very artificial and like just circle stamps in Photoshop over here. Whereas... Uh, Samsung's done a much better simulation. Like there's there's more softness to the bokeh balls and variance in size. But let's zoom in, check the cutout. Both look very good. This flick of hair is probably the hardest part. It's hard to tell on the Samsung because how dark it is. But I, I think it's done a cleaner job here, whereas there's like a straight line of there's a straight line of like unblurred background here. Samsung slightly sharper around the eyes, but maybe slightly softer around the chin. Either way, both are good, but I would say Samsung looks slightly nicer, mainly because of the more natural looking bokeh effect. Okay, two more portrait shots, this time of some mannequins on the rear camera rather than the selfie camera. First thing I notice is that uh, Xiaomi has clipped some highlights on this guy's shoulders, whereas Samsung hasn't. There's a slight difference in the color. Samsung's a bit more leaning towards the greens, whereas the Xiaomi's a bit warmer overall and kind of slightly less green tint to it. 
Yeah, the Samsung is miles better on the texture of this guy's shirt. The cutout looks pretty good on both, but um, Samsung's retained some more texture detail on the face. And Samsung's also managed to blur out this reflection in the window, whereas Xiaomi didn't. Same shot, but on the 3X telephotos, both had a hard time with this reflection in the window. Both have messed it up, but in different ways. The bokeh effect looks pretty nice on both here. Um, but I like that there's some more variance in the balls on the Samsung. They're very uniform on the Xiaomi, as seems to often be the case. However, Samsung has messed up the colours. It's way too magenta. The, uh, the Xiaomi looks much more accurate here. And the Xiaomi has better details in the textures of the clothing cutouts I would say are quite comparable this is another 3x shot at night big differences in the color Samsung's again pretty green tinted whereas Xiaomi's very warm and more magenta -y. a lot more noise in the shadow areas from the Samsung shot bit cleaner on the Xiaomi but maybe slightly better dynamic range on the Samsung shot here. Although it is much less clean in the dark areas. Okay, these photos are from the really dark street that you saw in the video section. But unfortunately, as you can see, the Xiaomi fogged up on the main lens photo. Uh, so I can't compare those. But I can compare the other lenses. So this is on the ultra wide. Xiaomi's a lot darker and uh, Samsung's a lot brighter. There's a nice purpley flare on the uh, Samsung shot. Both have flared quite a lot in this photo, but the, uh, the purple's kind of interesting. If we zoom in, both are pretty grainy. The uh, Xiaomi shot is slightly sharper, but neither look particularly great. I would say the Xiaomi looks a bit better, even though it's... Uh, a bit darker. Now the 3X of both, again Samsung is a lot brighter but I can already see that it's not looking as good. If we zoom in you can see that the Xiaomi shot is way sharper and Samsung's processing has really made a mess out of like these cars especially. So yeah, at a glance, you might think the Samsung's better because it's brighter, but in reality, that Xiaomi shot is way better on the extremely dark street. Right, so this lens fogging thing on the Xiaomi 14, I've looked this up and it's not just me that this is happening to. Uh, there's a few posts on Reddit about it, and thankfully, it sounds like an easy fix. You just pull the SIM card tray out, stick it in a box with some silica gel, and it'll dry out the internals, but it's not ideal, it shouldn't happen. So yeah, if you do go for this phone, then uh, sort it out because you'll, otherwise you'll get the fogging thing like me. Otherwise, I think these phones are very comparable. Um, I often prefer the Xiaomi photos. I often prefer the Samsung photos. It all depends on the situation. Xiaomi has the better hardware, but I think a lot of the time Samsung has better processing. So yeah, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. I think for video, I would go with the Samsung because the microphones are better. It has 4K 120 slow motion, which looks great. And uh, stabilization is much better, especially at low light. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree or disagree, and I'll catch you in the next one. Toodles.